Hi everyone, my name is Pauline and I'm a Belgian nuclear medicine resident. In this video I will talk about the side effects of radiation therapy and what you can do about it. Before I start, remember that every person reacts differently to a treatment. Any side effect that you might have depends on the type and location of cancer, the dose of radiation being given and your general health. Okay, let's get started. An estimated 95% of people who receive radiation therapy for different types of cancer will have skin problems. Your skin might look red, irritated, swollen, blistered or sunburned. After a few weeks, your skin might become dry, flaky or itchy or it may peel. This is called radiation dermatitis. These problems may start showing up about two weeks into radiation treatment and usually go away gradually after treatment ends. Here are some ways to care for your skin during and after radiation therapy. Do not wear tight, rough textured or stiff clothes over the treatment area. This includes anything tight or elastic that squeezes the area. Instead, wear loose, comfortable clothing made from soft, smooth fabrics. Do not rub, scrub, scratch or use adhesive tape on the treated skin. If your skin must be covered or bandaged, use paper tape or another tape for sensitive skin. Try to put the tape outside the treatment area or don't put the tape in the same place each time. Do not put heat or cold such as an ice pack on the treatment area without talking to your cancer care team first. Even hot water may hurt your skin, so use only lukewarm water for washing the treated area. Avoid shaving the treated skin. This can irritate your skin, which could cause a painful rash. If you absolutely want to shave the treated area, avoid red shaving, but use an electric razor as a safer alternative. Apply moisturizer every day because the treated skin will always be drier than it was before and applying moisturizer two or three times a day helps your skin recover more quickly from treatment. Avoid the use of deodorants because this can leave a coating on the skin that can cause irritation and some may even affect the dose of radiation that enters the body. Protect the treated area from the sun. Your skin may be extra sensitive to sunlight. Use a broad spectrum sunscreen with a sun protection factor of at least 30. And finally, steroid creams and antibiotics are commonly prescribed to prevent or treat radiation dermatitis. Another important side effect is hair loss. Radiation therapy can cause hair loss, but only from the area of the body where the radiation is given. Hair on the scalp will only fall out if radiation is given to the head. Hair usually begins to fall out about 2-3 to three weeks after radiation therapy starts, and it starts to grow back once you finish your course of radiotherapy. But it might not be as thick as before, and in some people it can be quite patchy. Sometimes it even grows back in a different color, or curly when it used to be straight. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to prevent this. If you're having radiation therapy to your head or scalp area, think about cutting your hair before treatment starts. Some of my patients told me this gave them a sense of control. And one last tip, if you plan to wear a wig, it is best to choose it before the treatment starts so you can match it to your own hair color and style. If you're getting radiation therapy to the head or neck, you might also have a dry mouth, trouble swallowing, changes in taste and tooth decay. It is therefore extremely important to take good care of your teeth, gums, mouth and throat. Here are some tips that may help you manage your mouth problems. First of all, clean your teeth and gums with a very soft brush after meals and at least one other time each day. Avoid spicy and rough foods such as raw vegetables, dry crackers or nuts. Don't eat or drink very hot or very cold foods or beverages. Don't smoke, chew tobacco or drink alcohol. This can make mouth sores worse. And finally, stay away from sugary snacks. Many people will experience stomach problems at some point after starting radiation therapy. You may have side effects such as nausea, vomiting, belly cramps, diarrhea or constipation. These problems are usually managed with drugs prescribed by your doctor. And lastly, radiation therapy to the pelvis, for example, as a treatment for bladder, ovarian or prostate cancer, can cause side effects such as bladder problems, fertility problems or changes in your sex life. Bladder problems consist of problems with urination, including pain or burning sensations, trouble passing urine, blood in the urine and an urge to urinate often. 
Most of these problems get better over time, but radiation therapy for certain cancers can cause long-term side effects such as urinary incontinence. For both men and women, it is important to talk about how radiation might affect your fertility. If the ovaries are in the radiation field, you may stop having your period and go into early menopause. Radiation therapy to an area that includes the testicles can reduce both the number of sperm and their ability to function. An option may be to bank your sperm ahead of time. And some people may notice changes in their ability to enjoy sex or a decrease in their level of desire. Some women may also find sex painful. It is not uncommon for them to experience vaginal itching, burning and dryness. And radiotherapy can cause erection problems in men by affecting the nerves in that area. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 